Hi YouTube, this is iTracky from iTracky.com and today I will be showing you a tutorial on how to implement an app icon with your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad app. As we all know, these app icons are, necess are necessary and required for any app. So this is a very important part of your iPhone development. So first what you want to do, you want to create a file called icon.png. Now this has to be a PNG file and it has to be named icon.png. Uh, just a hint, you can't just change the extension name. You actually have to convert this into a PNG file, which I recommend you do using a software, online software. It's absolutely free. Called You just go to iaza.com. That's I-A-Z-A dot com. And you can convert it from there. And this file also has to be 57 by 57 pixels 57 pixels in height, 57 pixels in length. Now you can also do that using iaza.com. If you have a large file, you can always also use that use iaza.com to resize the file for you. So once you have the file, I'll be using this one as an example. You want to go you don't want to drag it into Xcode, which is the default um, software for the iPhone developers to create iPhone apps. So basically you just want to take the file and drag it into the resources folder which is right here and once you do that it should show up here I already have the file dragged in so I don't need to do that now and you'll see a preview of the icon so now all you want to do is from there go into the main file main files I should say and you want to go look for the dash info plist whatever you're so, so it'll be started with whatever you named your um, application and then dash info dot plist so you want to go in there and then icon file look for the icon file now uh, this by default will be blank so therefore you all there will be no icon file all you'll have is like a white app so to change this just all you have to do you already have the file added in your resources folder right here so all you want to do, it's really simple, just type in the words icon.png, press enter, and save. And once you've done that, all you have to do is click build and run. And if it works alright, yep, here it is. The icon is automatically implemented, it's automatically, everything's automatically added for you, all the shading and stuff, it's very nice, the way that Apple does it and it'll show up now it'll work for any png file as long as it's png file 57 by 57 pixels and that's it and you can also change this of course just if you want to upload a new png file it'll automatically change for you and that's it thank you for watching please subscribe and check out my website at itracky.com for more tutorials about the iphone apps thank you